Good morning, I'm Mike with National Vacuum. Operation and maintenance of a blower. The operation is very, very similar for a driver. As a rotary vane, as far as the maintenance side, you're gonna clean the filter once a week, and that's cleanable. Do it in soap and water. The silicone ends on the uh, filter are pretty fragile, so we don't want to use solvents. So just good old soap and water will clean that up. It can be reused many times. As far as the maintenance on the blower itself, you need to do an oil change once a year. So I've got two sumps on the machine. There's eight ounces in the uh, non-drive, and there's 18 in the drive-in. That uses a 220 synthetic. We have a complete <coughs> illustrated PDF showing you step-by-step -step on how to change the oil in the machine. We're gonna diesel flush once a week, or if in, at any event you get an overflow into this machine, you're gonna want a diesel flush a couple of different times with larger quantities. Instead of six to eight ounces, which is typical for a flush, you're gonna to wanna to put in half a quart. So double the amount, run the blower for a few minutes, do it again. So if it happens in the field, you're gonna add diesel to the canister and, and flush immediately. The moisture trap, you're gonna drain daily. Today we're gonna to show you how to properly flush a 4310 blower, which will also be applicable to our 4307 and our B500. It's a very, very simple process. It's a little bit different than a vein pump. So we're gonna to try to cover that and make this as simple as possible today. We're gonna to add six to eight ounces of diesel to our canister. That's a one quart canister. We're gonna come back, and since we are gonna be diesel flushing on pressure and not vacuum, vacuum for vein pumps, pressure for blowers, we're gonna crack our valve. That way we don't build any pressure into this tank and our pressure relief valves don't pop allowing diesel vapor and diesel to come out while we're doing this process. We're going to engage the truck obviously. We're going to leave the truck at an idle. Engage our PTO with the blower in neutral. Put the blower in pressure. Come over to the ball valve on your diesel flush kit. Open your ball valve. Allow that 68 ounces to go through the machine. Close that ball valve. Let the machine run for a few minutes. Disengage the PTO. The tank will bleed off because we have an open port in the back. And then we can come back to neutral. Since we're at the end of the day, typically we are going to drain our moisture trap at the end of the day. The diesel is now in this moisture trap as well. So we're gonna get a bucket and we're gonna, we're gonna drain that moisture trap. You can just leave the bucket under the, the moisture trap, secondary, um, for the night. The B500 is our entry level blower and it's a very similar process to what we just uh, explained for diesel flush in our 43 series. The petcock valve here is where we're gonna put the diesel into the machine. So, so that's, that's our valve to open. It's the exact same process that we explained in the 43 series. And you're still and obviously you're gonna do this in pressure. The drain on this moisture trap is down here. And so at the end of the day, we're doing the diesel flush, we're gonna empty the moisture trap, empty out the diesel, 